Hi guys, I'm back and uh, I'm here with my swap sack for the month of May. Now I actually got my swap sack and my curl kit today. Um, I won't be doing a curl kit unboxing because I seem to be getting my curl kit late. I remember the first time I got curl kit, um, I got it like before, almost before anybody else had it. I remember mine, when I put up my unboxing, there were only like two other unboxings or maybe one unboxing video up the same by the time that I had mine up. And then this time I've been getting mine super late so I already know what's in it, I'm not surprised. Um, uh, so I'm not going to make a video on it. But the great thing about Swap Sack is that I can always make a video about it because, um, you know, it uh, is always different for everybody. Um, there are some changes coming to Swap Sack. Um, I haven't really read over all the emails that she sent out about it, but as far as I know, um, beginning in July and now maybe I think beginning in June, there's going to be some changes where the subscription becomes bi-monthly and it goes up a little bit in price and it's not a recurring payment anymore so you have to buy the swap sack each month. So I'm honestly just thinking about dropping off of swap sack, not because I don't like it and you know I'll, I, maybe once I open this this month's sack I'll rethink this but um, I'm thinking about dropping off of it just because it seems like a lot of hassle and I don't really want to go through all that. Um, I know that a lot of people are dissatisfied with Curl Kit and you know Curl Kit is no longer something apparently that I can really feel good about making videos about because I get it so late which is not necessarily Curl Kit's problem you know it's just how the mail works. Um, I've been getting my Curl Kits so late that they are not really something I can make videos on and a part of the reason why I did it was because I was like, okay, I can make videos on it, it'll be great material for my channel, but it's not really becoming a thing, but it is nice to get new products, so I might just drop down to only getting Curl Kit, um, and that'll also keep my stash in a little bit more check, but let's see what's in this swap sack, um, and I'll just have the raw opening here and uh, my first impressions, raw reactions, okay? Alright, let's get into it. Okay, opening up the swap sack. So immediately upon snipping, I smell like a citrusy grapefruity smell. So let's start with the stuff that is outside of the actual sack. Um, and I remember actually that this month's uh, theme is Ayurveda. And that's exciting because I have been wanting to look into some Ayurvedic um, remedies and stuff, but, you know, can't follow every hair trend and everything. Okay, no, this is very sticky. So the first item is the Nubidian Heritage Coconut Papaya Soap with Vanilla Beans. Now, oh god, it smells so good. Okay. Oh my god, this smells so good. Okay. I know that I gave Swap Sack some crap last month because I got too many, like, bath products. Um, and I was unhappy about that. But I'm actually really happy about this. So I'm really happy about this because I used a Nubian Heritage soap. I just picked it up on a whim from Whole Foods um, maybe a month or two ago. And I really, really liked it. And I do like this scent, the coconut and papaya. It smells really good. So I will be using this and I am happy about this. The next item is Natural Inside and Out CC's Naturals. And this is the lemongrass and coconut milk leave-in. And it is in... Okay, so the ingredients are aloe, love, purified water that's infused with marshmallow root, lemongrass, amlo, brahmi, bur burdock root, um, bringraj, coconut milk, castor oil, cocoa butter, mango butter, coconut oil, emulsifying wax, and optifin. Optifin is a preservative. Um, it's actually been taped up really securely, so that's really nice. Um, oh wow, this is, uh, 
This is a leave-in, but it's incredibly thick. Like, at first, let's see. At first when I saw it, I thought it was going to be a mud wash. Yeah, it smells really, really lemongrassy. Really lemongrassy. I just can't even believe this is in a leave-in. It's so thick. Let me touch it. Get the consistency. Like, okay. It's not seeming that thick um, once you get it in your hands, but wow, it's a really, it's not one of those watery leave-ins. It smells really lemongrassy. I'm not sure that I love the scent. I'm not really a lemongrass person, um, but it does, it does have a scent. I, I wonder if it lingers, but that's cool. That's definitely something I wouldn't have, you know, picked out myself necessarily. Um, so that's cool to get that. Okay. And then this is Timote Beauty Recipes from Around the World Perfect Curls Curly or Very Dry Hair Shampoo, 0% parabens. Um, okay, so this is a shampoo. It is a sulfate shampoo. The second ingredient is sodium laureth sulfate. And then there's also coco cocomidopropyl betaine. Blah, blah 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 there's a lot of things in here that I don't necessarily use um because I do not have the curly girl option of swap sack to be fair or to be clear I have no petroleums I believe is my preference right now um so you know this is interesting I'm right now doing a co-washing type, type challenge so I won't be using this for a while but <clears throat> I do like to have sulfate shampoos around just because then if I ever get product build up I know what to do um but I've actually never even heard of this brand so that's pretty interesting I'll show it to you um and then I don't know if I actually did a close-up of the CC's naturals so I'll do that now okay so now we have the actual gold sack, the sack, the swap sack, so to speak. Okay, we have the Sorenzo Bath and Body Orange Sorbet Bath Truffle. I don't actually know what a bath truffle is. <laughs> Maybe you put it in a bath when you are chilling and it's like a bath bomb. Well, it smells pretty good. It does smell sort of orange sorbet. Um, I don't take baths. I only take showers. So I'm not sure how useful this is going to be for me. But I'll um, definitely go to their website and check out the uses for this. Okay, so this is the cream and cocoa um, raspberry ganache deep conditioner truffle. So another truffle. Um, and it seems to just be like a rasool clay, coconut flour, cocoa and maca powder, marshmallow root powder, cocoa butter ingredient type thing and I think it has instructions on the back of how to use it so this is the product and I'm actually really excited because I've been wanting to, I've been hearing stuff about cream and cocoa first of all and second of all um, you know I haven't really been trying a lot of clay containing items uh, and I've been wanting to so that's cool and then I have one more product and it is another soap. It is a butter pecan, although pecan is spelled wrong. Um, handcrafted all natural soap, olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, castor oil from Simple Living Soaps. It smells really good. And it looks it looks similar to like a chunk of like black soap, African black soap, but it's not. It looks kind of interesting. Okay. So those are all the products that I got in my swap sack this month. Uh, to recap, I got the coconut and papaya soap from Nubian Heritage, CC's Naturals um, Lemongrass and Coconut Leave-In, the Timote Perfect Curl Shampoo, the Sorenzo Bath & Body Orange Sorbet Bath Truffle, 
and the cream and cocoa raspberry ganache deep conditioner truffle so that's one two three four five six products in my swap sack this month and three of them three of them are bath and body and three of them are hair so um my overall satisfaction with this swap sack is um good better than the last time for sure um in the sense that I feel like I really got exposed to some hair products that I wanted to try or some types of hair products that I want to try or something that's interesting because this is an interesting texture a definitely a different type of leave-in than the leave-ins that I have a lot of the leave-ins I have are like loose and creamy white shea butter based things um, and this does not have any shea butter in it which I'm really actually pretty excited about because I'm wondering if my hair doesn't like shea butter um, so I'm happy to try this um, even if I'm not loving the scent that much I'm happy to try it and I'm really excited about this cream and cocoa because I've been trying to try some cream and cocoa stuff and it looks interesting uh, the shampoo for the hair um, not really that excited because I don't use sulfates that often I do use them sometimes but right now I'm really trying to get my moisture levels in check so I won't be using this for a while and then on um, the soap yeah super excited about the soap because I love the smell of these soaps and after getting I got one soap in my curl kit and I really loved it it was like the soapy love raspberry one and it was really it smelled so amazing that I didn't keep it in my shower like I live with a roommate I didn't keep it in my shower and because I didn't want anybody to use it and I didn't want it to like melt in the shower because I just would anytime I felt like I needed a, a an escape a sort of a, a treat I would wash with that instead of my regular soap and I feel like this could be this could be on that level where it smells so good that I only break this out when I want this like luxurious smelling situation I will say that with um the um, Nubian Heritage Soap. I felt like it did dry my skin a little bit, not to the point where I was breaking out, like having an eczema breakout, but I didn't feel like soft and supple after using it. Um, the body truffle, I mean not the body truffle, the bath truffle, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll have to look up the uses on the website because I don't take baths. But um, this Butter Pecan Simple Living Soaps uh, little soap bar, smells good. Not as good as the coconut and papaya, but it smells good. And so, I will be using this as well so I'm like just racking up all these soaps I don't even know if I'll ever have to buy soap again in my life I hope you guys enjoyed watching my unboxing on sacking and swap sacking and bagging whatever of uh, the May swap sack um, so I will have a lot of the information down below about you know how much these product products cost how much I think this bag is worth um, and where you can find some of the products or all the products i'm not sure how easy they are to find um but i'll do the best that i can to get all the information out of there um if you've tried any of these products before please let me know down below or if you've tried these companies before please let me know and um, tell me how you feel about them and i think that's it all right i hope you guys have a great day bye